everyone, I've got a little bit of a different format for you today because we are going to look at the Villain Hunt mode. Uh, level 1, Killer Moth. This one is fairly simple, not too difficult, uh, at least I find it fairly easy. Um, this, the basics behind Villain Hunt mode is, well, you have a time limit. You have a set of, a preset uh, team of all the hero characters, well not every single one, but a bunch of the most important ones. Um, from the mythos, and um, you basically have a time limit to find any this this given villain character. Um, in this case, it's Killer Maw. Um, and these villain characters, once you find them, you actually unlock them, and then you can buy them from the uh, from the uh, character area. So what we're doing right now is going to basically a speed run of the level um, to find a character. Now, I actually sped these videos up, as you can see, because I really didn't want to have to show you absolutely every little detail. You guys have already seen the whole levels twice. You don't need to see it again. Um, this is really just overkill, to show, show you it all. That, and it was, like, way too long. It was, like, 45-something minutes. There's ten of these levels um, with varying time limits, and it was just way too long and tedious. Now, with the speedrun thing, this you can really show off um, some speedrun tactics for this game. You can show off skipping bad guys, you can show off stuff like skipping things you don't need to build, because you can actually swap characters. Um, you can show off a little bit of the stuff that you can do in free play, where you don't have to be the same character throughout the thing, because it, it basically functions like free play. It's like free play time run. Like, you don't have to ever build that lever, I don't know why I did. Um, and all the bad guys, you never have to fight the bad guys, just run for it. Um, basically, it's it's a quick little time trial, and it's a lot of fun. So, basically, you have all these characters, and they're going to be hiding in different areas, and you will see all of them. That's why this video is so long, it's like about half an hour long, so if this gets too tedious, you can always leave and come back. Um, I do show off getting all the characters here, but if you don't want to see it, go ahead and skip this video. I just put it up for people who wanted to see me get all of the characters. Um, as you can see, our team consists of Batman and Robin. It also consists of uh, Helena Wayne slash Huntress. Oops. What the hell? Uh, I skipped getting and killing off there. Oops, sorry. Um, that wasn't what I intended to do. Um, but yeah, Killer Moth is right back behind that door. Um, I didn't actually show getting him. I'm sorry. But as you can see, our, uh... Our team com is comprised of Batman, Robin, Huntress, Azrael, a SWAT guy, the SWAT guy with the ra with the uh, rocket gun, Alfred, uh, Jim Gordon, and I believe that's uh, Officer Bull down there. I might be wrong. If somebody is positive on that, let me know. And I, I believe Officer Bull was created a whole cloth for the animated series and immigrated to the Kanan later. Again, Azrael has a uh, immunity cold and he's a strength user. I was wrong about that. There are at least two other strength users besides Killer Croc that have immunity cold. Um, Freeze is one of them and Azrael is the other one. Um, and he also has the double jump ability. So he's actually a very good character to use for levels like this um, where you have a lot of hazards. He's, I believe, also immune to toxins. Um, he makes really a good run-through character once you unlock him, and you unlock him and Huntress, and there's Manbat, um, once you, um, complete true hero mode all of the way. That is, okay, now level 3 Hugo Strange, yay! Um, but you unlock him once you complete, um, hero mode, true hero all of the way. That is, every single level has its true hero bar filled, which I did not show off for the sake of, uh, speed and efficiency. For villain mode, you get this. This is what you unlock for completing true villain all the way. You get the villain hunt mode. So if you get every single true villain bar and every single villain level filled, you get true vil you get the villain hunt mode uh, as a mini game. Uh, these bad guys you actually do have to fight. Um, they you really don't have any choice in the matter. Um, they they are you have to fight them to get this pad here. Otherwise, you can't um, proceed. Um, another thing you may have saw down on the lower screen there, uh, Huntress's portrait was flashing. She can also use the jump pads, just like Robin can, um, and she also has a crossbow, just like in the comics. So, basically, more or less, this is kind of showing off different hero characters that you can try out. Otherwise, you really won't use them that much. 
you're more far far more likely to use the villains than you are to use the hero in free, heroes in free, free play just because there's so many more villains um than heroes but you will occasionally get uh characters like alfred in there you'll get maybe azrael or huntress in there um if you choose them you might get them you'll, you'll definitely get them if you choose them but you might get them um just through luck of the draw um but usually you're going to get villains overwhelmingly just because there's so many more villains yay two alfreds for five seconds <laughs> Um, here's another tactic. You don't have to break every single box, um, but I did there just to show you that you could. Um, basically this, this level is pretty straightforward. Actually, Hugo Shins is in this room. You don't have to go any further than this room. Um, and he's actually right up at the top in that room with the, uh, breakable wall. That area with the breakable wall. Alfred's strength is he can glide. That is all he can do. <laughs> um, he's really not that good a character to play as. Um... Characters like Jim Gordon, Lucius Fox, and Bull down there, they have guns and I think that's it. Um, they can't do anything else. They're not, they're, they don't have any other special abilities. They're just normals. Considered normal people, so, well, they don't have any other abilities. And well, Jim Gordon is really freaking awesome. I mean, Gordon's awesome, no doubt about that. He's just not a very good character to play as in this game because he doesn't really have any benefits and he really can't do much. So you'll never see him. Almost never. He's really just kind of a flavor character. And in here is Hugo Strange. Yay! A fourth level, Victor's Az. I mentioned in another bonus, I believe it was my Terminal Levels of Wrongness video, that uh, Victor's Az is present in this game, except here he is called Mr. Zaz. Um, I, I believe canonic canonically, is is it Mr. or Victor? Um, I'm not positive. I haven't read a lot of Zaz stories, so don't don't quote me on that. Um, maybe because there aren't a lot of Zaz stories. He's not really a super popular Batman villain, as far as I'm aware. Um, and they cha they've changed his, uh, look significantly over the years. He has, like, a weird, like, super weird black eyes in this ver in this variant, which I believe he had in his original appearance as well. It's like, um, why? Um, this is showing off the strengths of the rocket launcher with the SWAT guy. He's... It's pretty useful, actually, but the downfall is that it's clunky, slow, and difficult to aim. You never have to go any further than that blue box back there. Once that blue box gets dropped, you're done. You just have to go over to that chute back there and jump on it and make the levers show up so you can make the train come and you can jump on the train and, yeah. It gets pretty, pretty simple. There are some, uh, there are some time limits here where I kind of cut it a little bit close. But I never have to do these levels more than once. They're really easy once you know where everybody is. Um, and the villains aren't hard to find. I don't know why I jumped down here. Maybe maybe because I thought um, that the train was already here. I, I don't know what I was thinking here. It was a little bit late at night. It was like 1 in the morning. I was really tired. I had just finished a long day. And here it is. I just cut right to it because I was like, yeah. And two Batman. Because um, I didn't want to show myself going back. I mean, you guys don't want to see that. And once you have this train here, actually, that is all we need to do is just build this ladder and climb up here. Um, yet more AI dumbness. It's okay, because we can switch to characters we need now. We don't have to go back for other characters. We don't need to care about that. It's no big deal. Um, basically, this level is very short. And, yeah, you can see I kind of cut it a little bit close. Hi, Victor. Okay, here's Black Mask's level. Um, he's pretty straightforward. Um, I, I believe he's hidden... He's hidden in one of those little rooms down at the bottom, uh, where you can't open it unless you have the blue key in the normal playthrough, but we can open it here. This is kind of like a preview if you've, you're playing this and you- Oh, hi, I just bricked Robin into the box. Nice. Um, yeah, that really does happen a lot. You have no idea how many times that happened and I had to actually cut it out. Um, the ones that you see in the glitch video are just interesting little variants on it. I didn't show very many of them. Um, it's not uncommon for characters to glitch into other characters, especially in emulation. Not so much in the actual game. Um, if you're actually playing this on a DS, it won't necessarily do that. And the nice thing about having your character switch is that your AI can switch for you. You don't have to switch the AI over to another character. Um, so the character will switch automatically. And there's a bad guy there. I didn't even notice him. He was so unimportant, I didn't notice. I'll just let Robin fight him. Um, gonna s zip through here. Um, there are two ways you can switch your character, actually. I don't really show it off here so much, or in the free play. 
Um, you can use your left and right buttons. For me, it's Q and W on my keyboard. Um, or you can use the mouse, the touchpad. But that's way too tedious here. I mean, you don't want to see my mouse every single time I switch. That's pointless. Um, another strength of, of the SWAT team user, besides using the grapple pad and being able to use a rocket launcher, he is also able to blow things up. Um, which is really nice. I don't know why I just did that. But it's really nice because it means you can have all sorts of neat things happen. And I didn't even need to break that to build that thing. Um, oh wait, yeah, I sort of did. <laughs> no, I didn't. What am I saying? Phantom, you are silly. I'm sorry, I'm recording this, um, early-ish in the morning for me, so I haven't really, uh, I haven't really woken quite up yet. So, I'm gonna keep walking through here. And really, this level is pr pretty straightforward. Yay, Ice Cream Man again. I'm gonna break this ice cream cone. Um, I tried to break it with the rocket there, but it didn't really work out so well. Um, and, hey, look, more goons. You don't even have to fight them. They're really unimportant. Um, I, I wanted to use that shortcut up there, but it won't let me in the, the one for whatever reason. So I have to use the normal uh, playthrough method. And just, um, I think I have to use the normal playthrough method and do that. Unfortunately, which I don't think makes a whole lot of sense. Um... I mean, if you have the keys in the normal mode, why wouldn't you have it in free play mode? It doesn't make sense to me. And because you're not supposed to use the keys in this, um, you don't have to blow this up ever. I don't know why I did that, because that doesn't even do anything. That leads to Catwoman. And actually, yes, the Catwoman fight is present in this level, but you never need to fight her. You'll never make it that far on this time limit. Um, that's what that, that, uh piano does if you haven't seen that free play mode video yet um the piano will that uh bomb will drop will make that piano drop yeah the bomb will drop you drop the bomb on me baby anyway fireflies level this is actually the villain version of the level um not the hero version and yes you do have to build all that stuff because you have to get the door open um they give you about five minutes to do it in and it's not that that tough um the levels get progressively harder and harder through villain mode, which makes, through villain hunt mode, which makes a lot of sense. So once you have all of the characters, again, you can unlock them, and most of them are fairly affordable, um, except for two. I want to say, um, I want to say that Hush is up there, uh, around a million studs or something like that, and Tropical Joker is a million five thousand studs. Um, and he's really difficult to save up for, but there are cheat codes where you can turn on, oops, as we all died. Um, there are cheat codes where you can turn on um, all the items or get 3 million studs or 1 million studs. There's cheats for getting four, at least 4 million studs. Two cheats, and actually two cheats. Um, and there is a cheat that lets you turn on all the extra items, including all of the uh, stud multipliers. There's actually an 8,000, there's actually an 8 times stud multiplier. There's a 2 times, 4 times, 6 times, and 8 times. And, um, if you unlock them all, you can get mad, mad money. It's ridiculous how much cash you can get. I actually ended up turning that on so I could buy everybody and not have to worry about it because speed and efficiency. And really, um, you can, I, ha I think I ended up with something like, like, I want to say like 550 million studs. It was a lot of money. And I'm like, damn, <laughs> there is no character that costs that much in this game. This has been Trilquist and uh, Scarface's level. Um, I don't know why I'm not talking so well. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but this level was also fairly short. This is, again, the villain version of the level. And um, this level really is pretty straightforward. Um, just got to build the brick thing so you can get Robin up there. Um, and really, you have to build the penguin head to open it. It's not too hard. Unfinished grapple pad. Going to build, grab this brick and take it over here. After a while, there gets to be not much you can talk about in these levels. There really just isn't a lot to villain hunt mode. It's just build bricks, find the villains, you have a time limit. Hooray. Um, so basically, yeah. This is basically a showing off of an all-hero team as well. Um, some of you may have been asked, may have been wondering about that little glitch bar on the bottom of the screen with the, with the check mark and the red X. I do not know why that is. I don't know why that does that.
Also, you may have noticed the uh, nice picture of Batman's crotch earlier. <laughs> That's actually from my wallpaper. Um, what happened there is uh, I accidentally uh, pressed the wrong button uh, while I was recording. There's an option in Desmume that lets you shift the screen around, and I pressed that while I was trying to press the arrow keys, and, well, my, my background resulted. Um, it's actually a pretty cool background. I'll have to show you guys someday. It's pretty nice. I like it. Um, it's a picture of all of, almost all of the main bad guys and Batman, uh, from the Anarchum Asylum, except for Scarecrow, which I don't know why he's not in there, it doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, um, you may have saw that little glitch bar, now it's white. Um, that glitch bar, I still don't know why that happens, uh, it just does. It shows up a lot in the, um, in the, uh, vehicle stages as well, and I don't know. The gray bar is not a glitch, that's actually supposed to represent the gap between the lower screen and the upper screen on the DS, and I just left it there because it looks nicer. Because I don't want a big, weird disjunct between the two things, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, the two screens, rather. So anyway, this is going to basically, this is basically the same thing as you would do in the normal mode. I believe I actually accidentally missed a lever though. Yeah, see I missed a lever, I'm have to go back. Um, I used the shortcut up there, so you can see it. Um, ouch. 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 Come on, Alfred, make the jump. There we go. Anyway, basically, yeah, I missed this level down, this lever down here because I was dumb. Anyway, there is Scarface and the Ventriloquist. Very simple. Next level, Razogul. Um, this one takes place in the chemical plant, and it takes place in another secret area that you can find. Um. Some of the levels will have the villains in areas that are not secret areas, some will have them in areas that you can only unlock with keys, or secret areas, or whatever. This is not one of those levels. This level's pretty straightforward, um, but we do need to build the, uh, buttons to press the door and open the doors, and go away, goons, you are in my way. I have things to do, and you are being in my way. You're very good at that. You can see really how powerful that rocket launcher is, though. The SWAT character is really one of the better characters, their guns to play in the game, but the trade-off is that the gun is really, really slow. Um, so I, I don't highly recommend it, but it's it's possible to play as him, and he is a very good character to play as. Um, he's a good choice, but you need somebody, um, you need a good partner to offset his weaknesses. Uh, because his gun is really good, but it, take, it takes forever to, to reload and shoot. Um, which is a little unfair. Oops. I died. It. Hey, that bullet didn't hurt me. Yeah, again. Um, sometimes you can get it where, where, um, you end up glitching through, the, the bullet, like, glitches through you or whatever and doesn't hit. Or your bullet doesn't end up hitting the bad guys, or your razor ring doesn't hit the bad guys. Um, this game is highly glitchy, but it's glitchy in a fun way. I mean, I, I, there's only one glitch that I would really consider game-breaking. And that's, I don't, I don't show it off in the glitch video because I couldn't get it to work, but, um, that glitch is where if you're in Arkham Asylum and you hit the light above the door in any of the rooms that lead to the actual level chapters, any of the level rooms, um, if you hit the light above the enter-exit door and somebody is walking through that door, like two or more people are walking through, the game will freeze. And that's the only time that I've ever found a game-breaking bug in this game. But every other glitch is just amusing or cute or funny. I mean, I've never, I've never had the game, like, die on me. There's no glitches as far as I'm aware in this game where the game absolutely just gives up the ghost and you lose your save file. Uh, oops, what the <laughs> Nice there, Batman. Um... Yeah, sometimes, again, it's over, it's easy to overstate the jump, because it's really hard to see where you're jumping on the DS, I mean, it, it's almost sort of like a 2D, again, here I cheese the goons, um, it's almost like a 2D console in, in that way, it's really weird, um, anyway, basically this level is, again, very straightforward, ooh, we're kind of cutting close to the time limit, it's okay, we have plenty of time, uh, we just need to get in here, pull this lever, and it should, uh, let out a, yeah, a zippy pad, a acrobat pad, and right up here is Rafa Ghoul. Very quick, very easy to find. This time around, Hush. Um, he's also fairly simple to find. He's found in the carnival. And actually, he's right up in the room with that big clown face in the carnival. Um, you'll see what I mean. Um, I don't know why I jumped on there and kicked it. I could have just kicked it. But that's, I guess that's showing off hit detection. Um, 
the, the hit detection in this game is a little bit weird on items sometimes. You can actually stand on something in some cases and break it if it's meant to be broken. Um, in other cases, you can't. It's, it's a little weird. Anyway, here we go. Open up the gates. You can actually, again, skip those goons entirely. They are never, they, you never need to fight any goons at any time in this game. But I showed it off for the sake of ease of travel. Here we go, running around the carnival. Yay! Um, basically, this is, this is just a very straightforward thing. You've seen the carnival already. It's still a fun level. I love this game so much. But yeah, again, I've, I've never seen any glitches that were truly game-breaking in this game, except for the one. Uh, every other glitch is just kind of cute or random or bizarre or odd or makes no sense. But every, everything else is pretty, pretty good about it. Um, I, 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 this is actually a pretty polished game for how glitchy it can get. It's just normal, like, clipping things that you would get with, a, like, a Nintendo 64, like, if you cartridge tipped or something. I, I don't know what exactly causes it. Maybe it's because the hit detection is a little weird in the game, but I, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, this is basically the same thing you can, as, as in the normal playthrough, except you have a much shorter time limit. You don't even need to switch Batman over since you have a glide character already. You have Alfred. Um, but really, really, this level is very, very straightforward and very short. Um, literally, it's only these three rooms. The room out there, this room, and the room, uh, before it. You don't need to go, excuse me, you don't need to go all that far into the carnival. <laughs> Two SWAT teams. Don't ask, don't tell. Except that was Batman and the SWAT dude. Maybe I switched in between. Maybe I missaw that. Um, anyway, um, here we go. Yeah. Again, you don't have to fight those guys. I just do because otherwise they will get in your way and they're really annoying. I switched to Azrael here because I, just in case I ended up falling into the goo, I didn't want to get killed. Because being killed is not something I relish. I don't think being killed is anything, something anyone relishes. I mean, we only have one life. One life to And I did the same thing as I did in the- Ah! Uh, you know what? Why did I do that? That pisses me off. I'm going to be mad at myself for the rest of the day now. Actually, um, you can actually jump from here, but I, I'm gonna play it safe and just pull this lever, bring this, uh, grapple pad down here. Um, Azrael cannot grapple, and here's Hush. You can't see him, um, the SWAT dude was blocking him. And actually, here's the final level, uh, the Tropical Joker level. And he is actually all the way up at the top of the cathedral, right before the final Joker battle. It is entirely possible to find two Jokers in this level, um, if you go past Tropical Joker and actually into the Joker battle. Um, yes, that is present in this level. This is the hero version of the level, I believe. Um, and he is really easy to find. Um, he is behind a breakable wall, which I believe is a nod to the console, as you found the Tropical Joker outfit. Uh, it was actually an outfit, not a character variant in that game. You found the Tropical Joker outfit behind a breakable wall in the console version. And <laughs> doing the shift between character shuffle there as I walked the door. Um, and actually, really... It, I think it's supposed to be a nod to the console because you found the Tropical Joker variant behind a breakable wall. Um, his costume behind a breakable wall. Um, in this one, it's actually just the, just a character variant, and he just kind of stands there and waves. What you're not really seeing is, is the character is just standing there and waving. Um, and it's really not that important. Actually, up here we go. Yay! You do have to turn off of the, all of those Joker bombs to proceed. Um, just in case, because it's a requirement of the level, and it's a requirement here. It's considered a progress marker. You have to do that. You can't skip the Joker bombs. Um, for whatever reason. I find it a little bit odd, but that's okay. Odd is okay. Gonna bomb this just like in the normal level. Build this. Um, it is very possible to build your partner into that button. As I, I believe it gets shown off in the other in the actual playthrough of this level in hero mode i accidentally brick robin into it i i don't remember actually i'm my memory's a little fuzzy today i just barely woke up again um and i'm doing this on easter sunday so go figure yeah i could be like peeling eggs and dying eggs and shit but no i'm doing this video for you guys on the internet that's your choice as, as to whether that's really sad or really awesome i love you guys Anyway, um, stop shooting at me. Anyway, just gonna make, make sure that Joker bomb is turned off, which it is. Uh, you can actually hop on this button. There's actually a goon standing on that button. 
for us. Thank you, goon. Uh, and you can run in here. You actually have to go up to the point where these goons come down and beat them up and build the lever for the bomb. And yeah, this level gets a little bit tedious in villain mode, villain hunt mode. Um, otherwise, it's not that difficult. And now we just have to make the big long trek up the stairs. But um, well, it's a lot easier in this in this variant. Um, you just have to grapple. Your character will, your partner will automatically switch to a grapple par partner. Um, and then you can just switch to a, a uh, acrobat partner. And back. It's it's not too difficult. It's fairly straightforward, actually. Makes it very, very, very quick and very easy. And actually, right back here, is Topical Joker. Hey, buddy! And that's everybody! Hooray!